Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Good? Oh, I'm good. cold. And cold. <laughs> it's raining. Ya pasó, pero. It's cold. Se siente frío, sí. Uh, the rain, it's over, but it's still cold. It's um, cold. It's a little bit cold. Well, it's cool here, but it was raining the during the whole afternoon. All afternoon was raining. Yeah, all day is raining. Really? Here, I think from 1 p.m. it start raining all the afternoon. It stop and then continue, it stop and then continue. So, finally, it's winter. Probably it's the rain is going to be more stable now. Okay, good evening, everybody. It's our class number 14. Uh -huh. 14. <laughs> of how many? Of 16 classes. So this is Tuesday. We got classes on Wednesday and classes on Thursday, and that's it. All right. Just as a reminder, we finished on Thursday, right? And that's over. Let's Check something out. Yes, right here. We've got the slides for this class. Reminders as usual. And of course, the last week, which is week four, to complete a session five and the final exam. We're going to give some minutes today to discuss if you still have some uh, questions about some exercises on the section five in the final exam exercises too, okay? So today we're gonna talk about different times during the day and the activities that we do. Yesterday we introduced using the clock, telling the time from the clock, and of course using different uh, forms to say one specific time. We still need to talk about 12 o'clock, during the day we can say it's noon, when it's 12 o'clock, or when it's 12 o'clock at night, that we can say it's midnight, okay? So we still have those periods of time that we have to talk, that we have to describe, that we have to mention, a name, of course. Well, everybody ready for the class? That means we can get the attendance. I think I received a couple of messages of some people that are not going to be able to be in class today. Uh -huh. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's see. Today is June 20th, right? Yes. That's right. All right. Today, when you listen to your name and the attendance, no solamente van a decir present, sino que van a decir cómo van en la platform. Yes. I finished. It's complete. I'm working on section five. I'm working on the final exam. Cualquier cosa. De cómo vayan, ¿ok? Yes. Así que van pensando cómo lo van a decir, because you're going to say it in English. Yes. I completed everything. I finished all the exercises, or I am working on. So, todavía estoy trabajando en tal parte. Yes. I'm working on exercise four of the section five or whatever. ¿Ok? Hopefully, everybody's on section five. Nadie puede ir más atrasado a section five porque eso ya sería too much. Okay, ready? Ready. Adriana Madai, I think she sent a message. I don't know if she has problems with the internet. Just let me confirm, please. I think, no, just another participant. Ah, yes, 
Mm, there's no electricity where she lives. Sorry. Mm. Not electricity. I'm going to insert a comment, I think. Let me just complete this in the meantime. Not electricity. All right. Mm -hmm. Alma Patricia, good evening. Alma Patricia. Alma? I think I saw her. Hello, Alma. Hello, yo solo la voy a saludar porque. Good evening. Bueno. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Just repeat. Good evening. Solo repítalo. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, very good. ¿Cómo le ha ido en la plataforma? Cuéntanos. Pues, le voy a hablar en español. <laughs> En una me fue mal porque me equivoqué. En lo de, la, de los relojes, en la hora. Me confundí, really? me equivoqué. Pero ya terminó. Eh, ¿Verdad que después de que termina la, la sección, ¿verdad? Cinco, ya no aparece nada más, porque ya no me aparece más. Final exam. Lo del examen, ahí está incluido en eso porque ya no me parece, aparece nada. Ok. So you finish. Sí. Entonces se dice, I finish. I finish. Very good. Everything. En lo que me carga la plataforma, we're going to continue because I want to check, but it's pretty hard to check right now. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Beatriz. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. Tell us the explanation. A mí sí me está costando un poquito la plataforma, teacher. Really? ¿Qué? ¿Qué de la plataforma le está costando? Este, lo último del examen. Ok, in progress. ¿Todavía está ahí? Sí. Ok, but section five, finish. Perdón. Pero la sección 5, sí, ya, finish. Sí, sí, sí. La ok, cinco. so you say, I'm in progress. I'm working on the final exam. Yes? Yes. Ok, repeat. Perdón, ah. casi no le oigo. I am working on the final exam. Teacher, no. solo le escuché allá. I, I am. Uh -huh. Working. I am working. Ajá, uh -huh. on the final exam. Or, allí lo encontré yo. Y ahí lo tenía por la nariz. On the final. Final exam. Final exam. Yes, good. Congrats. All right. Who's next? Armando. Armando is going to give a long explanation. Get ready. <laughs> I completed the platform. I just completed the platform a long time ago. It was not that difficult. <laughs> yeah. It was easy. Uh, only uh, typing the answer typing is ah uh, yes I with just the... correct it. <laughs> with the accent mark with the periods at the end of the sentences uh -huh. and it's I mean I just got this question for you is this the first time you study English or you have studied English before I can start uh, okay. um, A1 
Um, I was in medium English. Intermediate. But, yes. When? But, Two uh, years ago, but, one year ago. Uh, three years, no, four three, years ago. Four years ago. So you always like English <laughs> since you were a child. Yes. All right. That's interesting. And it's very important because when we like something, we definitely dedicate more time and we focus more and we get as much as we can. So that's very important. All right. Yes. Thank you. Brenda, your turn to explain, Brenda. Hi. Hi. Um, I am finished the platform. Really? All the exercises, all the exams? Yes. Was difficult or was it easy? Um, un poquito se me dificultó. A little. Sí, sí. It was a little difficult. All right. Nice. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda, do you ever use your camera or never? ¿Cómo? Do you use your camera in Zoom? or never use the camera? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, you use your camera now. <laughs> okay, thank you, it's true. I sometimes forget because I only see the name on the screen, but it's true. All right, thank you. Okay. Christina, Michelle, your turn. Hello. Hello. I finished my homework and, and my ex exam too. Everything. Yes. All right. How was it? Was it difficult, easy? So so. So so. Me ayudaron ahí los compañeros la vez pasada. In English, Christina, my friends, my classmates, my classmates, help me, help me. Okay, all right. So this is the first time or the first experience of studying English, or you study in another occasion? Um, es si he estudiado pero casi igual básico como Basic. ahorita. Basic. All right. So every time you try, you stop in basic. Every time you stop and you stop. In, I, in your case, you say, I stop in basic. I stop in basic. Why? Why don't you continue? Eh, ¿Dónde? ¿Por qué? La razón. Why? ¿Por qué no continúa con los otros levels? Ah, o sea, sí, lo, sí también lo estoy practicando. Okay. Voy en el level 6. Level 6. Ajá, level 6. All right. Y aquí. So, don't stop, okay? Continue until you get to the advanced level. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's your commitment tonight. <laughs> All right. Tiana Yamilet Alas. Hello. Hello. Your turn, Diana. Diana uh, looks like she studies English. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I finish all the exercises. Okay, that didn't represent a challenge. They were not that difficult. No, <clears throat> it's easy. It was easy. So you yeah. studied English at the university, at school? And, mm, no sé cómo explicarlo, pero hace como ocho años. In English, mm. Diana, your vocabulary. <laughs> Long time ago, eight years yeah. ago. And in the university, one year. All right. So about eight years ago, you studied one year English at the university. Yes. And you still remember. Yes. That's great. So don't stop in basic either, right? Continue. Yes. All right. Nice. Elmer. Alexander Reese. Present. Hello, your turn. Hello. I finished, teacher. How was it? How was the experience with the platform? Cool. Solo en español, porque no, no. Why? Es que no sé cómo es que muy. 
muy larga la, la oración, entonces no. Ay, no. ya les di chance que pensaran. <ríe> to organize your idea. No, uh -huh. solo, solo que son como, ya cuando son estas plataformas así, son bien confusas porque hay veces que uno las pone con, así como comentábamos la vez pasada, lo del apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Entonces, son como diferentes, entonces al inicio puede llegar a frustrarse uno porque no, no conoce el sistema de, de la plataforma, pero uno, ya cuando uno ya conoce el... el When you get familiar with the platform Ajá. and the, and the way of Exacto. Of, yeah. Y también en antes de contestar. Entonces, ya ahí cuando uno se familiariza, ya. Entonces, ya. ya okay. Está, ya. When, when do you consider you get familiar? After the first section or the second section? El de second, creo. After the second one. All right. Good. <laughs> so, after the second one, you were more confident, more familiar. Mm -hmm. You already know how to answer the exercise. And the punctuation. Punctuation in English is very important. No es algo que podemos obviar. Yes, it's necessary. It's mandatory. All right, nice. Erika, listen. Erika? Are you here? No, she's not here. Oh my goodness. Fatima. Fatima Roxana? Not here. Oh, goodness, righteous. Okay. Freddy Ernesto? Present. Hello, tell us about your experience working on the platform. Um, I'm finished, but for one question, not finish the exam the final the final exam okay you still question. need to answer one question question two and one question all right question one and question two one just one question for the final exam mm. Mm. No sé cómo decirlo, lo es la que dice, no, they're not from English, they're from Australia. O sea, no sé si realmente está hablando de la familia o de algún amigo, o sea, porque está en plural, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué número no es? Son... What number? Eh, en, la, en el examen final. Ajá. Uh -huh. la, la parte 2. No Final exam, part 2. Sí, la segunda mm -hmm. sección, ajá, me lo preguntan. Nice. La primera preguntita. Mm, ok. Le dices, my name is Tim, are your parents in Peru? No, they're not in Peru, they're in Canada. Ajá. Then question one, no, they're not sí. from England, they're from Australia. Sí, este, puse de varias formas, no sé si también puede tener escrito alguna forma más. Are they? Tenía que ser una sí. question. Uh -huh. Sí. Let's see. Are they from England? Eso ya lo intentó. Solo are, sí, they for. Are they from England? Obviamente el are tiene que iniciar con capital letter A. England mm -hmm. también tiene que ir en mayúscula y tiene que llevar el signo de interrogación. Are they from England? Bueno, solo eso no lo voy a intentar. Por mí. All right. Sería la única. Falta ya. Yes. Are they from sí. England? No, they're not from England. They're from Australia. Okay. Thank you, Freddy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so another one that is going to give us a long explanation. He now has not a party. <laughs> I am finished. Oh, okay. How was the experience? Um, good. Just but, good. But mm -hmm. it's frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. <laughs> what do you, why it's do you frustrating. say it's frustrating? Frustrating. 
is frustrating. So, algunas como es? Some. 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 Just Sorry, don't. my internet is bad. <laughs> okay. It's frustrating. Some questions, some okay. answers, because? Because the platform um, no aceptaba algunas respuestas. <laughs> Entonces, eso es lo frustrante. All right. Because <laughs> of the punctuation, because of the capital letters. Or sí. the apostrophe. Y... Or the question oh, mark. Sí. O oh, yo me frustraba mucho al principio y, y por suerte mi pareja sabe un poquito más de inglés, entonces le decía, revisame qué estoy haciendo mal. Ya, ya, no, I don't, don't understand what's happening. Okay. You try and try and try and everything. And probably it was just one letter that needs to be capital yes. or the, the punctuation. All right. Y, and finally, are this is the only same. thing. <laughs> chiquitita. Very similar. All right. Yes. Thank you. Jocelyn, Tatiana? You got Jocelyn, Tatiana? No. Present. Hello. Tell us about your experience. Um... Finish or didn't finish the platform? Yes or no? No. No yet. ¿En qué parte va aún? What section are you working on? Section four, section five. Yes, any? Are you still here? En que sea una reaction, pónganos. <laughs> like thumbs up. I'm alive. I'm still here. I'm okay. All right. Well, Jocelyn, we are pending with your explanation. All right, Carla. Carla Jamilet Velasco. Carla, in all this universe, she's not here. All right. Catherine and Stephanie Campo. Yes, Miss. Hello. Hello. Good, evening. Good evening. Tell us about your experience working on the platform and your progress. Mm, I work in the 50%. You are working 50%. Yes. So you are on section two or three. Um, in the final exam. Oh, you are working on the final exam. 50% but for yes. the final exam. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Perfect. Keep working. You can do it. You still have time. Okay. Nice. Catherine, right? Kevin Alexander Renderos. Kevin, Kevin? Kevin is not here. But we'd rather listen to Kevin, actually, if you ask me. 
María José Chavarría. Present. Hello. Hello. Tell us about your experience working on the platform and completing the exercises. I am um, in it. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? How was it? <laughs> it was difficult. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you have help from anybody? From a friend? From a classmate? No? You no. discover all the answers by yourself alone. That's good. That's persisting and insisting, okay? So you can get it. All right, nice. Thank you for sharing, Maria Jose. It would be nice to have more participation from Maria Jose in every class. Marisol. Marisol. Hello. Hello. How are you? It's your I'm turn. Finished. You finished? I finished. Yes. You finished everything. Yes. Uh, a little difficult. It was a little difficult. Okay. Yes. And you look for solutions. You ask somebody to help. Or you just discover by yourself the answers. Someone Only discovering on the platform. Um, lo hizo por su propia cuenta the, o alguien le ayudó. And, sí, es que a mí lo que me dificulta más un poco la pronunciación. Ah, oh, but completing the exercise was not that bad. Sí, pero ya sí entiendo cuando leo. Ah, reading yes. and listening. Yes. It's easy to understand, but speaking. Yes. No se atreve. You have to dare. You have to challenge yourself. Atrévase más. Grabe yes. sin audio. <laughs> Record yourself. Now you have no excuses because you have cell phones, you have cameras, so you can record yourself. Y después se borra. <laughs> A menos que se quiera hacer. <laughs> no, <they talk. laughs> right. So you have a lot of yes, Hazel, tell me. También en la plataforma el profesor que da da una página para que uno hable y luego se escuche. Yeah, so you can record yourself. Entre más lo haga, más rápido van a perder el tema. So it's gonna be easier later. All right. Thank you, Marisol. Melissa, Stephanie. Melissa? Present. Okay, tell me about your experience working on the platform. I'm in progress at the exam. Okay, I'm still working in completing the exam. All yes. right. If you have any question, we can discuss here, right? Mm. Oh, well, it's gonna be okay. All right, thanks. Nelvin? Nelvin, Nelvin? Not here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Olympia? Present. Hello. Tell me about your experience working on the platform. Finish. Finish? Yes. All the platform, all the exercises, all the exams. Uh, other exam. Finish the exam too. Yes. Good. Nice. Did you have help or only you work on the platform? Mm, uh, I did it difficult, but were helped each other with a partner. Oh, you were with a partner. That's nice. That's good. That is working with a partner, spear work, so you can help and support each other. And especially when you study a language, it's nice to have interaction because that's how you can communicate. That's great. Awesome. All right. Roxana Areli Guerrero. Areli or Areli? Arely, <laughs> present. Hey, how are you? 
Good, thank you. How was your experience with the exercises on the platform? Um, I am working on the final exam. Oh, really? That's nice. That's yes. great. Okay. Keep going. You can do it, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ruth Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. Hey, tell me about your experience. I am finished. Oh, you finished everything. Yes. What was the most difficult of everything? A little difficult. Uh, ¿Cuál fue lo más difícil de todo? What was the most difficult? Uh, a mí más que todo me dificulta la pronunciación. Me cuesta bastante eso. You think pronunciation is difficult? Bye. Tiene que hacerlo lo más que pueda. Cantar, decir, tongue twister, leer en voz alta. Todo, todo el tiempo. Si se si puede, se graba o si no, pues ándelo diciendo. Pero entre más ustedes se acostumbre a escucharse en otro idioma, pues más rápido lo va a lograr. Yes. If you listen to me, I don't sound the same in English as in Spanish. Uno tiene que también tratar de como imitar, porque uno no puede sonar igual en todos los idiomas. Obviamente, cada idioma tiene su propio accent. Entonces, you have to try. Tómelo como un juego. But you have to try to do it as much as possible. Con mucha más frecuencia, no solo porque esté en la clase, solo en ese momento lo voy a decir. Trate de andar diciendo oraciones, trate de andar diciendo conversations, trate de andar diciendo vocabulary. Eh, trabalenguas, canciones, try to, like, si le gusta un cantante, uh, uh, the way they sing the songs, you can try to imitate the songs, right? For example, if you like Adele, try to sing like Adele, even though her English is so cute because it's British, okay? And it's gonna be pretty hard to <laughs> sing, but you try to sing. Very easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. okay. but yes it's a good tip you can incorporate okay for everybody not only for you okay but thank you for sharing Sandra what are you doing present hi uh-huh miss elegance experience <laughs> um complete the section five and final exam Oh, really? Done. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you have any help or you work alone? Alone. Really? And this yes. is the first time, the first experience studying English? No. You had a previous experience? Si. At the university? in the church at the church yes oh, wow so you have friends that visit from the united states mm. <laughs> at church sometimes you have people that visit from the united states or normal classes at church uh, Hicieron unos cursos mm. antes de la pandemia, entonces. Oh, you participated. Ahí está, sí. Yes. Nice, that's good. Take advantage. All right, Tatiana. Tatiana. Present, eh, oh. I am finished. Eh, complicated, complicated. And exam, sex, sex, section five. B. All right. It was complicated to complete uh, section five in the exam. All yes. right. I understand. <laughs> I know it's Pero not that easy. But I think. Voy a regresar este, a, a querer entender. De hecho, este hasta he pedido ayuda ¿eh? la, okay. a, la, a la explicación. Nice. And también me cuesta un poco la pronunciación. Pronunciation. pronunciation, yes, y este 
La comprensión todavía me cuesta bastante. Listening, comprehension. Yes. Yes. Keep practicing. Practice and practice and practice a lot. Okay. Okay. Yadira. Yadira. Is she here? Not here. Yadira sounds like a singer's name. Jocelyn Arlene. Present teacher. Hi, how are you? Hola. How are you? How was your experience with the platform? Easy peasy. Not bad. Not difficult. All right. Maybe she got some issues with her internet or microphone. Selena. Present teacher. How was your experience, Selena? I finished the exercise. And the exam. Yes. All right, nice. Great. I no lo mencioné, somebody I didn't mention. No? I mentioned everybody. Yes? Great. Okay. Good. Thank you for sharing. That's very important that you reflect on the way you learn. Okay? Because once you discover the way you learn, Definitely, you will learn easier, faster, and more efficient, okay? Well, we started yesterday telling the time. What time is it? Or what time is? And the name of an event. What time is the class? What time is the meeting? What time is the concert? What time is the conference, right? So you can have uh, an event and you ask for the time. All right, what time? Do we start the class? At 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. At 8 o'clock, right? And of course, it's one hour class. So we finish at? 9 o'clock. At 9. At 9 p.m., right? Okay. Is it a.m. or p.m.? So it's the same as in Spanish. So, no, eso no me pueden confundir. <laughs> it's, it's exactly the same. Solo que no decimos AM o PM, AM or PM, right? It's seven o'clock or it's seven in the morning. Yes, the morning. Uh huh. It's, it's seven AM, right? Es exactamente como en español. Si es de mañana es AM, si es de tarde es PM. Okay, okay. So it's seven or it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven in the morning. You can say it's the o'clock, it's optional, right? But it's in the morning, it's 7 a.m. It's 12 or it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. Aunque parezca raro, Al mediodía es PM, las 12 del mediodía, right? Because después lo que vienen las horas, después de las 12 del mediodía es PM, es, es the afternoon, right? So another way to say it's 12 PM or it's 12 o'clock PM, it's noon. Yes, for example, you say, oh, what time do you have lunch? At noon. Yes, it is at 12, at 12 o'clock PM. It's four o'clock. It's four in the afternoon. Yes. And what is the meaning uh, noon? Mediodía. Oh, yes, <laughs> mediodía. Okay. It's noon. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Ya, ya me acordé. Cuando estábamos tocando este tema con mi pareja y otro amigo, me decían que por eso es, por eso tiene el término afternoon. Porque a mediodía Luego, es solo noon. Mediodía. Es, ajá, mediodía es noon. Ajá, ya eso voy. Es, se puede decir eh, suel noon o no se dice eso. 
o comúnmente no? En realidad estaríamos repitiendo. O digo 12 o digo no. Mm. Porque si no estaría diciendo lo mismo dos veces. It's 12 Ajá. p.m. or it's noon. Mm, es, ajá, porque generalmente sí. la, la gente dice es 12 o'clock. Y si es de día, obviamente, que es noon, right? Ajá, y ellos explicándome, tratándome. Pero, si oh, pero si se fija, pero si se fija, cuando usted dice after, es después. Después. Uh -huh. Entonces, después del mediodía, afternoon. Mm, ajá, pero, pero es la sí. tarde. <ríe> y es mes. Como decir las 4 después del mediodía. <laughs> exactly. Four in the afternoon. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Pero yes. nosotros le decimos good morning, good afternoon. Y no, no nos detenemos a pensar cómo desglosar eso. Mm -hmm. Lo mismo pasa con breakfast. O sea, dice, ¿y qué breakfast? ¿Y qué es breakfast en, en español? Traducido literalmente como ¿Sí? un descanso rápido, algo por el estilo. <risa> pero también tiene otro <risa> significado pero breakfast ¿qué, qué sabemos que es breakfast? desayuno desayuno desayuno, vaya, desayuno quitar el ayuno ¿ya? en inglés también fast significa no solo fast and food ¿no? también significa ayuno entonces breakfast es como romper el ayuno por ejemplo, Interesante. Exactly. Cuando decía, ¿qué hacía Mahatma Gandhi para protestar? Él hacía fasting, o sea, hacía ayuno. Mm. Yeah. Let's continue. It's for the yes. <laughs> Tell me. Y después de las 12, así de midnight, ¿cómo uh -huh. se dice? After midnight. No, a.m. in the morning. <ríe> y si no tiene, no tiene como mucho, como decir muy literal. Uh -huh. No, no, no hay alguna no. expresión para eso. Podría ser así desde night, la madrugada. At midnight in the morning. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yo sé, si usted lo quiere decir literalmente after midnight, obviamente la gente va a entender después de la medianoche. Yes. Pero generalmente la gente dice en, en la madrugada, in the dawn. Dawn. Uh-huh. It's D-A-W-N. Dawn. Like 3 a.m. in the morning, it will be the dawn. Right. Okay. So we got, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. Eso sí es dawn. Yes. Jocelyn says, uh, the internet is gone. We got, no, internet. Oh, that's sad. Thank you. All right, maybe nosotros nada más decimos like in the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, todo lo que después de la, del mediodía decimos afternoon, pero para el inglés es bien importante in the evening. Nosotros, la ubicación geográfica no tenemos como muchas horas de la puesta de sol, es como que el sol ahorita pum, ya se desapareció y es, ya está oscuro completamente. But in these countries, que están como un poquito más al norte, sí es como más marcado, que el sol está como se oculta, se oculta, nunca se termina de ocultar. Entonces son como tres o cuatro horas que pasa así. Entonces, that is the evening. Pero nosotros como, a las cinco se ocultó, se ocultó. Pero ya no, empieza como six, seven, eight. En el verano dicen que puede llegar hasta las 10 de la noche. Así como oscurito, pero no oscuro totalmente. So that is the evening. It would be nice. In Europe or in the United States. Okay. Then at night, que ya, lo que nosotros conocemos. Dark, 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 right? So it's 10 o'clock at night. Si se fijan, uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero en la noche ya no es in the night, sino at night. Aquí cambia la preposition. Yes, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. or it's midnight. Yes? Vale, luego tenemos este exercise. Que lo único que van a decir es decir la otra forma. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's 9 p.m. 
Y si decimos, it's 3 a.m., it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Si está así con a.m. o p.m., van a tener que decir si es in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, or at night. Y si está con morning, afternoon, at night, van a tener que decir si es a.m. o p.m. Esto lo van a discutir con sus partners in a small group. Let's see. We are going to do this very quickly because of the time. Let me just get this. Okay, let's go. Sube al grupo. Sí, ya está ahí. Ya no me mandaron por WhatsApp. Vale. Este, la teacher dijo de que cuando estuviera eh, even, evening, it's, y es, es, ¿qué íbamos a decir ahí? Dijo. Que ya no íbamos sí. a decir it's true y hay en. en sino que le íbamos a agregar qué dijo, no le, no le escuché esa parte. Eh, por ejemplo, la que... Porque en la primera parte donde está el literal 2, eso me está preguntando. Sí, la, la, en la primera. Yes. Que dijo que le íbamos a agregar no sé qué, eso realmente no, no escuché. No lo entendí. Es que yo lo que le entendí que íbamos... Por ejemplo, en la primera que, vamos, que está acá, eh, le vamos a poner it a, a close, que serían las, las ocho en punto de la mañana. Ok. Yes. Aquí deja a M. A M, en la segunda imagen. En la última. Sí. Uh, It's 12 o'clock at night. ¿Cómo sería? Es lo mismo. A M. De la mañana. Uh -huh. La otra sería 12 o'clock at night. Serían las 12 de la noche, ¿no? Sí. No, quiero ver la 3. No, la. La cuatro, en la tres ya está. ¿no? Ah, la tres. De las tres. Three in the afternoon. It's three p.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. Five, it's three a.m. It's It's three in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. Six, it's six p.m. El contrario, Vaya. nada más. Uh -huh. Vaya, que alguien diga la primera, otra la segunda y así. Vaya, Vamos comienzo. Yo digo la primera, vaya. Bueno. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Vaya, ahora tiene que decir el contrario. It's night o sea, otra... Va en el cinco, María José. It's It's sweet. Yeah. 
Ajá, y ahora el largo, por decirlo así. Estudio ayer y the morning. Excelente. It's six p.m. It's six o'clock. Sería las tres a.m. It's three a.m. ¿Cuál sería la otra forma? En el cinco. Ajá, el cinco. Ay, ya se me olvidó. <risa> It's three o'clock in the morning. Porque es de mañana. ¿En cuál vaya? Eh, yo, yo, sinceramente, si no, no, realmente no comprendí. Ah, en, la, en la primera, este es el ejemplo, que esto lo vamos a pasar así en, en números, por decirlo así. Porque está en It's Night, a Close in the Evening. Ahí se lo han pasado allí a It's Night PM. Así como están. In the afternoon. Y la 8 sería. 12. Midnight. Midnight. 12 de la noche. Es. 12 o'clock. X minutes, X minutes, X minutes. Entonces ya, ya, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, uh, todo. Sería PM. Solo eran cinco, seis, ocho. Sí, solo eran ocho. Ok. Ya estamos entonces. Si quieres, repitamos la de que lo hicimos. Bueno. Eso no es más fácil. It's nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine p.m. Nada. Una cada uno, digo yo. Ajá. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Ah, pero. The morning is. In the morning is. ¿Cómo sí? O sea, ¿cómo le escrito? It's el número, más que todo. It's. Hey, I am. Ajá, de la. In the morning, I am. It's a. I am o'clock in the morning. Sí. De la tres, it's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. It's three in the afternoon. O'clock. Mm. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Uh -huh. A las cinco. 
the cinco. It's three o'clock in the morning. Let's say it. All right, how was the practice? Easy. Good. It's also. <laughs> so <-so. laughs> Is it difficult to remember when to say in the morning, in the evening, at night? Y como eh, eh, usualmente conocemos el 6 p.m. como tarde, entonces ahí también. In the evening. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. oh, Sandra, sorry, tell me. Teníamos Empieza. esa duda que a partir de qué hora se usa el himno. In the evening. Generalmente... Sí, de las 5 en adelante podría ser en nuestro país 5, 6, 7, 8. Siempre y cuando sea de llegada, aunque ya sean las 8, 9 de la noche, va a ser good evening. Ya para despedirse si es good night. En este caso, would be 5 in the evening, 6 in the evening, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, would be at night, probably. Mm -hmm. All right. No more questions. No more problems. No. Sure. Seguros. Good. Catherine. I see Catherine has a question. Hello. No. Hello. You have a question. No, no. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining the class. I will see you tomorrow. We'll keep the study the present continuous with other verbs tomorrow. Okay, and have a wonderful night and rest. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. See you. God bless you. Good night.